The, the Terrible, Terrible Two, by Jerry John and Mac Burnett. Hello, I'm Miles Murphy, and I'm now Sparks, and we, we are, are the, the Terrible, Terrible Two. Two. Oh, you're new in Yanni Valley. Well, we're the greatest pranksters in Yanni Valley history, and this is our pranking lab. Hey, hey, Miles. Yeah, Miles? Can we tell them the story? Again? Okay. Alrighty. Are you guys ready to hear about the greatest prank of all time? Okay, here it goes. Ripple, Ripple effect. effect. What's the best holiday? Christmas? No, April Fool's Day. Do you know the only downside to it? There's a downside? Yeah, we don't get the day off from school. Oh, so how do we pull off a prank so big that school gets canceled? Cows! Cows? Cows can walk upstairs, but not down, though. How do you know that? It's an interesting fact in a book Prince of Barking gave me. Here's some chalk. Thanks. Let's figure this out. I can't believe that it took us five, five hours to get 107 cows in Yanni Valley Science and Letters Academy. Oh, and for you new kids. That's our school. We guess you're wondering how we got the cows. Well, thanks to former Principal Bob Barkin. Principal Barkin's father. We got those cows to school with a wagon. A bike. And a bale of hay. Hey, we didn't say we'd tell them every detail. So at 6.25, Principal Barkin got to school and went inside. But what he saw didn't startle him, because you didn't see anything yet. So he went towards the light switch to turn it on. But just before he reached it, he bumped into something. Boom. What was that? He said, Keep going. He went to flip down the light switch. Someone put it in wrong. And then he still wasn't surprised. Cows. Mm. This must be Miles Murphy's idea of an April Fool's Day prank. But it wasn't a good one. I think I can get them down the stairs and I'll figure out how to get them to their owners. Wait, in the book I gave to Murphy. Facts. 178. Cows can go upstairs, but not down them. Oh, Murphy! I will have to close school today. How will I ever explain this to Father? So at 7.45, Niles and I crossed the parking lot and joined a throng of students a mass on the lawn. Principal Barkin was barring the entrance. He had a megaphone. I repeat, Mormon orderly club. What's going on? Said a girl named Holly. Yeah. Said a boy named Scotty. What's going on? What's going on is that you can't come to school right now because, because it's on fire. Panic. Screaming. Was on, was on fire, was on fire, a small fire that's out. Remain on the premises, everything is safe. If everything's safe, why can't we go inside? Asked the teacher. Because, uh, because there's a flood. Luckily the flood put out the water. Uh, Put out the put out the fire. It smells like cows. Said a kid named a kid named Stuart. What? No, that's that's the smell of fire. When fire is put out by water, it makes the cows smell. We're soaking out the smoke <laughs> and water. Somewhere in the art room, a cow mood. Mm. That sounded like a cow. Said Holly. Ridiculous, Holly. What is more likely that we had a fire and a flood or that there are cows in school? I guess 
the fire and flood? Exactly, Holly. Exactly. There's a cow in the art room. Starts. Step away from the building, and you're wrong. Yeah, you're right. Thank you, Stuart. There are six cows in the art room. Chaos. Laughter. <laughs> what? No, there are no cows in school. <laughs> As he says this, Bossy the lead cow with a bell walks up to the art room window. I guess the cat's in the bag, Barkin, said another teacher. Ah, just go home. School's canceled. Mayhem. Cheering. And that is the day we got April Fool's Day off from school. And don't worry, we weren't caught. Principal Barkin didn't have enough evidence to get us in trouble. Because I had left the fact book in Principal Barkin's office. And we are still the only ones who know how to cancel school on, on April, April Fool's Day. Day.